oh fall, a basic white girl's favorite season. Leaves are turning, crisp air, flannel, pumpkin spice lattes every day. I thought this season was gonna last for two months. Au contraire, more like two weeks. PSL season is over because winter is here. Winter is definitely here. It is sweater weather. We're drinking hot chocolate just out of pure survival trying to stay warm here. There's ice on the road. People are driving like they're on an F1 course. And now you're stuck in a traffic jam for hours. Winter is coming and are you ready? Let's talk about how to get your EV ready to tackle the winter weather. Now go ahead, hit that like button if you're into EVs. And now let's talk tires because this is a huge deal. Now on my Model Y Performance, I actually just swapped out my summer tires for the winter tires. Even my seven-year-old son got involved in the process, which was really cute. So all season tires, they are great for light snows, really pretty snows, if you will. Those are good. However, when the heavy stuff comes in and that road can turn into an ice rink and your vehicle, you don't want that turning into Michelle Kwan. So what you really want is the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Certified Tires for maximum traction. Now here's the sneaky thing when it comes to tires. Cold weather kills tire pressure. For every 10 degree drop there is in the weather, that means one PSI is gone. So let's do like a real world application with that information. Maybe you park your car in your driveway overnight and the temperature drops from 50 degrees to 20 degrees. That means when you wake up the next morning, three PSIs have just vanished overnight. And that's not good, it is winter. Now, thankfully the Tesla screen, if there is a change in your tire pressure, they will pop up a notification for you to let you know the change in pressure. Now you could just ignore it and swipe it away. That however, would not be good. Don't ignore that warning though, because if you do, that means that you could get uneven wear on your tires. You're gonna get worse range and you're gonna have like zero traction when black ice shows up and that can be scary. So safety first, keep the tire pressure in check. And while I'm at it, let me just share this pro tip with you for free, no charge. When your tire pressure is low, air your tires up when it's already cold outside. That way you're not having to deal again with that fluctuation in temperature is already cold outside that is the best time to do it okay moving on let's talk about charging in the cold and charging in winter can be a nightmare because your battery is asleep in cold while the supercharger is wide awake so if you plug in while your battery is asleep and it's cold outside you're going to charge more slowly than what you're used to in the warmer months the fix for this is easy just precondition Preconditioning can save the day here. <laughs> I didn't even plan that, that just happened. That was great. Okay, so again, preconditioning. So you can drive for at least five minutes first or just simply schedule it in the app. This warms the battery and it speeds charging. And that's what we want, right? Think about it this way. A cold battery means thick electrolytes and a slow flow. Nobody wants a slow flow, people. <laughs> A warm battery, that just means a full speed, right? So think about it kind of like a woman, shall we? Uh, no one wants a cold start, right? Mm -mm, you gotta warm that battery up if you wanna go full speed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, that's easy to remember. Just think of a woman. Now I'm gonna keep talking about preconditioning because this is totally gonna segue into our next point. Uh, so preconditioning, that is a non-negotiable. Do you remember what's her name, Patty Stanger, like the millionaire matchmaker, like she always had her people come up with non-negotiables. If you have an EV, this is your non-negotiable. Precondition people. It's really easy to do, especially in the app. You can set it and forget it. Kind of like that rotisserie chicken infomercial we watched in like the 90s, set it and forget it. That's what we can do. That's how easy it is. Um, so I'm gonna give you a real life example of what I do every single day. My son, we leave for school at 9 a.m. I have my cyber truck set. It preconditions every morning at 8.30. Now here's the important part. This is why it's so important. So precondition while it's on the charger. This uses grid power, not your battery. And that's the key here, people. We just wanna use the grid. So you get a nice warm toasty cabin. I get in every morning and think for a second that I'm in Florida. And then I open my eyes and I realize I'm in a garage. Um, 
Okay, so you get a nice warm toasty cabin. You get the heated steering wheel, the heated seats. I get my buns nice and toasted. And the battery is already warm. Zero range is lost. And I hate cold seats, people. No one wants to get in and have icy buns, right? Not even my kids like that. And they're in booster seats and car seats. And I still turn their heated seats on for them. Now, I'm going to go there, people. Just listen up. Just work with me here. No one likes cold weather, especially me. Uh, but we really don't like cold weather because sometimes that can mean shrinkage. Yes, I went there. I did. Uh, ain't nobody like shrinkage. Mm -mm. We want things to be full size. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and obviously I am talking about range. I don't know where your mind went. I'm just talking about range. <laughs> uh, we don't want our range to shrink, right? Um, so let me give you some real numbers here. Uh, your range can take a huge hit in the winter. So you can lose 20% range when it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Y'all, that is a lot, but it can get worse. Uh, you can lose 30% range when it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That's for our friends across the pond. We use Fahrenheit, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just how we do. We American. America. Okay, that is a lot of range. Um, so let me give you some more like real life numbers here. My Model Y, for example. Okay, so that can drop from about 270 miles and that range can drop to about 190. That's pretty substantial, that's a big deal. Okay, let's talk about the Cybertruck. So that range can drop from about 300 down to 240. Y'all, that is a lot. So just plan your trips accordingly, break your trips up, maybe midway, depending on how far you're going. And if you have a Tesla, this will do it for you. When you type in your destination, it'll tell you exactly where you need to stop and supercharge. Now, if you're driving a non-Tesla EV, just be mindful. I mean, take that range that they gave you when you bought it at the dealership and keep in mind that that number was probably best case scenario in best case factors. And this is winter. So maybe just deduct 20% of that range and put that into your calculations when you're driving somewhere. And I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe you plan an extra stop. I would rather do that than risk something really bad happening. That's just me though. <laughs> Okay, also another pro tip I'm gonna share with you for free because it's almost the holiday season. Uh, instead of blasting your cabin at 85 degrees on like level six fan speed the whole time, just use your heated seats instead. This can plus up your efficiency by 15%, which is a pretty big deal. And everyone loves some toasted buns. So rely a little bit more on those heated seats instead of that cabin air. Now y'all, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my undercarriage. Okay, that is actually on my OnlyFans. Uh, this is the undercarriage of my Cybertruck because as EV owners, y'all, we basically have built-in salt protection. Let me explain. A gas vehicle, it's got an exhaust, transmission, pipes, all these things sticking out. And basically it's kind of like a salt trap, right? In the winter, they've got like the salt mix, uh, salt can get in those crevices and that will rust fast. With the EV, mm -mm, look how smooth that undercarriage is. Y'all, it looks like it gets freshly waxed every day. You know what I'm talking about? That fresh wax? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and that's not every two weeks. You know what I'm saying, ladies? Okay, uh, this undercarriage, it is as smooth as a baby seal which is super awesome because on non-freezing days in winter, you can basically go out with a hose, a pressure washer, whatever, give this thing a little rinse and she is good to go. And still speaking about salt and just how easily it comes off, another pro move that I suggest is to PPF or wrap your vehicle. Uh, for the Cybertruck, we have this PPF in T-wraps. The Model Y, that is in the S-Tech Dynomat, which again, looks amazing. Uh, they both do. Uh, but again, when the salt comes, we just give her a rinse, wipe her down, and she is good to go. And this is also ceramic coated too on top of the PPF. So that means we don't have to worry about swirl marks or anything like that, um, especially in that winter yucky weather when sometimes people really have to like scrub and get in there. Um, or if you're using a snow brush, again, a simple wipe, and I don't have to worry about scratches or anything like that. Now let's talk door handles and getting unstuck. 
Okay, door handles first. Y'all, it cracks me up that like every EV has to have some different version of a door handle. The Cybertruck, the Model Y, the EV6, the Mach-E, everyone has a different way to get into the car. If we could just make one universal way, that would be great. Um, okay, but let's talk about it because sometimes in the winter, rain, sleet, snow, like it can get in there and things can freeze. Thankfully with the Cybertruck, these are kind of like recessed. So these, we went through a whole winter with it, never got stuck once, really easy. We can just push the button, door will open. Now let's talk about the Model Y because that's a little bit more tricky because the handle is like flat and flush right in the door panel. Uh, so that we actually have had get stuck a few times. Now, normally, depending on the conditions, you can come out and just kind of like, you know, hit the snow off, hit the ice off, break it up, and you can pop open the handle. However, there are times where it is just like too cold, too snowy, too much ice built up. We need another solution. Here it is. Put this in your memory bank, people. Put this in your back pocket. So here is your fix. In the Tesla app, there is a pop handle icon. You just push that and the handle will jut out for you. Now keep in mind that this will only work on like the driver's side door. Um, I've actually had to use it twice last winter for my Model Y. It just got too chilly. She didn't want to open up. So push that icon, it'll open for you. And because it only works on the driver's door, I actually had to like get in and then kind of like lean over and open the passenger's door from the inside. Uh, so our passenger was able to get in, but hey, it worked and we all got in. Now let's jump to a scenario where maybe you followed all of these winter tips to the T, but you still got yourself stuck in the snow. It happens to the best of us. Literally happened to me two winters ago. We don't need to talk about that. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. <laughs> uh, so in this case, if we are stuck in the snow, traction, not our friend. Mm -mm. We're gonna be on a friendship timeout with traction. Here's what we're gonna do. If you're in the Cybertruck, you could try off-road mode, but let me show you here what Tesla has for us here. And then we're gonna talk about our non-Tesla friends. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are gonna go here to dynamics and then you will see slippery surface. So we'll just turn that on. So, and it even tells you like how user-friendly is this? Use when roads are slippery, such as snow, ice, or wet roads to distribute traction evenly across all tires. Now, if you're in the Model Y, you'll just use the slip start. And again, it'll tell you like the same thing. Uh, so really easy to use, this is great. This will let the wheels spin to dig you out. And that's what we want. Let's get out of that ditch. Now for our non-Tesla EV friends, it's gonna be the same idea to get you out of that ditch. Uh, turn your traction control off. Same idea, more wheel spin equals escape basically, right? We just wanna get all that power going to the wheel, keep it spinning, get you out of there. So just remember y'all, winter doesn't have to win here. We've got our three peak certified tires. We are monitoring our range, checking PSI, preconditioning, popping out door handles when we need to, using that slip start. We have got all of the tools in our toolbox to make it through winter successfully. <laughs> okay, I think if you had to narrow it down to like the best three, probably having the three peak certified tires, preconditioning your vehicle, and using off-road mode. Those would probably be like the most important ones that I will be relying on this winter. But again, every single one of them is important. Now, if I've forgotten anything, or if you think there's something I should add, drop it in the comments below. Or even better, y'all, if you have a winter fail story, I would love to know. <laughs> so drop that in the comments below. I will be sure to respond. But that is all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. So we've got the easy to clean undercarriage and the easy to clean body, kind of like me.